I'm not exactly a person with a lot of karma as a religious person would say. To put it simply, I had committed a crime. Yes, you heard that right. It's not exactly anything like murder or crap like that. It was shoplifting. I had gone to a grocery store and stolen food. And I got what was coming to me. I can't even say I'm mad at Trevor would have the mind to make this. I may not go to hell for my crimes, because this will scar me forever. I ran back to my rented hotel room with all of the food. I locked the door and sat down, heavily breathing, realizing what the hell I had just done. It was about 30 minutes later that I heard a ring on my room's doorbell which made my heart jump down into my stomach. The ring went off again. And then again. And then again. And then whoever was there just quit. They ran away like a coward. I turned off the lights and fell asleep, hoping the door wouldn't go off again. I woke up next morning to a huge surprise. My lamp was knocked over, but your footprints were on the fuzzy carpet, and the door was wide open. Someone had been in my room. I walked outside to see if anyone was there. All I saw was a piece of paper next to a small package. The paper read. I saw what you did in the store. My boss has an odd way of punishing people for their crimes, which is scaring their asses off. Which I guess I must do. I apologize for trashing your room, but rules are rules. Watch the tape in the package. Warning in advance, this may scar you for the rest of your life, which may cause nightmares, night terrors, or common cold sweats. You have been warned. Name withheld. I opened the package and popped the VHS into the TV, which luckily still had the player, and switched on the tape. All I can say is, I regret shoplifting at that store. I hope that's a good lesson. The VHS began with the amazing world of gumbo intro, which almost made me burst out laughing. I had no clue how a happy-go-lucky cartoon about the perfect, yet unlikely cat and fish duo would be scary. The title of the episode was, The Experiment. I did a quick Google search to make sure this episode was real, but I got nothing relating to this episode. The quality was also slightly grainy, but that was to be expected from a VHS. The episode began with Gumball and Darwin walking down the street, talking about their day. Then Darwin's eyes widen and he stops walking, noticing some stranger, waving at them from across the street. He appeared to be holding something that shined in the evening sun. He slowly stepped forward, and Darwin took a step back, gesturing Gumball towards the man. Then he was gone. Gumball turned around and said, Nice try, Darwin. Darwin rubbed his eyes. Am I seeing things? I must be tired, I think. He said. Suddenly, the strange man jumped out of a bush and hit Gumball over the head. Darwin screamed, but the voice was completely drowned out when he was knocked out by a wet washcloth covering his mouth. The screen cut to show the two in a cell, with the man standing over them. He pulled out the sharp object, shown to be a knife. Don't worry, you two will be made better. He then pulled out a shot that they used to put patients to sleep during surgery. This won't hurt one bit. He said, giving them both the shot. Darwin screamed out once more before he fell asleep. The screen then cut to black, with sounds that I cannot describe playing. I could, but I think you probably already know what. The screen then cut to show Anais, calling out to her two brothers, saying. Guys, mom wants you back home. It's dinner time. We need to go. There was no response. Anais eventually came upon an old house she had never seen on their block. Has this house always been here? She wondered, then stepped inside. She picked up a flashlight she found on the ground and took a couple steps forward, investigating the odd house. She first noticed that there were footprints on the ground, with a large, wet trail following them. What happened here? She asked herself. On the floor, she found some stitching. I have a really bad feeling about this. She said as she opened a door labeled, Experiment Room. This was, well, around the time she realized her world was not as cupcakes and rainbows as she first was led to believe. She noticed a pair of white eyes in the dark corner. She shone her flashlight on that spot, but the thing had already gotten away when she did so. The flashlight then detailed what made me throw up, and Anais shrieked. It was her brother's, or, more accurately, her brother. Gumball and Darwin were now one, living, breathing thing that shared every vital organ of their body. Each part of them had been stitched together, with only a few gaps left behind. Anais screamed and ran, crying all the way back home. 
the amalgamation sat down, and cried. The screen cut to black, with a deranged psychopathic and croaking laugh echoed through the speakers. The episode then ended. I have no words that can describe how horrible that experience was. All I can say is this has taught me one thing. Never commit any sort of sinful act, because it will bite you in the ass later. All I can say is, stay safe, lock your doors at night, and never shoplift anything. Because, it will come back to haunt you. So if you are planning on doing a sinful act, just forget about it.